Welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome back to a brand new series. This is Two in a Versus and this is going to be basically five years to see if I can do better than the manager in charge of the Premier League team at the time. So for example I'm a Liverpool fan, say if Liverpool comes out I've got five years to make transfers, do tactics, see how many trophies I can win in them five years and then simulate five years with Klopp in charge and see how many he wins it's the two against each other to see who's the overall winner. Now, if you've seen Omega Luke's rebuilds, you'll sort of have an idea how this works. I'm not actually managing the games itself. I do the transfers, I pick the tactics, and then I simulate the season. So the team selection is mostly down to the manager. I can pick players to put in positions should I want to play as many as possible. But yeah, most of it is simulated. I just take control of the transfers. So Without further ado, let's just go and find out who our first team is going to be, shall we? Now, this is going to be a semi-regular series, and our first one is going to be Manchester United. So, it's going to be myself versus Eric Ten Hag. Um, so, we'll get rid of them off the wheel. We'll hide that wheel. We'll go over to Football Manager. And if I just add myself as Manchester United, Manchester United manager even here, you can see it's an up-to-date transfer uh, database. We've got Martin is there, Ericsson there, um, Tyrell Malaysia there. So, yeah, I'm going to go take control of Manchester United, do our first transfer window, and then we'll come back with a little bit more details and see who I've signed. So we've done our uh, transfers for this first season and next to nothing to talk about, uh, Malaysia has gone out on loan to Montpellier, it was the only outgoing. And the only incoming was Wilford Ndidi from Leicester for 60 million, potentially rising up to 70 million. He's going to be that ball winning midfielder that we need at this club. Um, Fred and McTominay have been performing that role in real life, but you know, Ndidi is just different class in my opinion. So we brought him in. Um, we tried to get rid of players, but we just could not um, find suitable bids. We have, we've had bids, but no suitable bids that I was willing to let players go. So just the one incoming, just the loan outgoing. It's fine. It's, it's fine. This is a squad that finished sixth last season. We've only got one player in, but it's fine. Uh, Tactic-wise, we're going for something pretty interesting. Um, we're going for a 4 one one three one with an offset striker. Um, so basically for this is I want that attacking playmaker role um, and I want them to be more advanced behind Ronaldo. Um, so we're going to put Ronaldo off to one side, the playmaker off to the other side, two inside forwards as well. Um, I'm hoping that sort of creates space. I'm going to guess Ronaldo's going to drift more central and then obviously your two inside forwards are going to come in either side of him with Hannibal as the main playmaker. He's the only player that I'm wanting to play every game possible so far this season you can see he's unhappy we rejected a bid from Michelin on the uh, on deadline day and I don't know why he's transfer listed um, because I did not do that um, so yeah he was unhappy about that but yeah that's what we're going for with I imagine Bruno's going to come into this box to box midfielder role indeed he's going to be that ball winning midfielder shielding these back this back line and um, yeah I, I for a first season, I'm guessing this is going to be more of we'll see what these players can do before we decide on who we're moving on. Um, in terms of games so far, we lost 1-0 to Liverpool on the opening day of the season at Anfield. Darwin Nunes in the 89th minute, the honour of the game. Beat Southampton 1-0, Bruno Fernandes scoring, and then we beat Leicester 4-1. Uh, Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, either side of a brace from Cristiano Ronaldo scoring for us. Harvey Barnes scoring for Leicester. So, a pretty decent start so far. Yeah, three points behind Man City and Liverpool. I'm not expecting to challenge them this season. This season, the goals are get back into the Champions League, try and win a domestic cup, and try and win this Europa League. We're in a group with PSV, Freiburg, and Sturm Graz. We should be topping this group without a doubt, and I think we're good enough to go on and win this competition. So let's go and see uh, how things play out, shall we? Without further ado, we're going to come at the end of the first season. So, well, we're back at the end of our first season. Um, what was I saying about not wanting to challenge this season? We are Premier League champions, year number one. We beat Liverpool by two points in the league title. We lost seven games, but 
and Liverpool only lost three, but they drew ten. Whereas we only drew three, and uh, yeah, we ended up winning the league by two points. We did get knocked out by RB Leipzig in the Europa League, but we also won the FA Cup. But let's just go and take a look at the Premier League. Fulham, Crystal Palace, and Notts Forest going down. Um, Wan Bissaka up there for average ratings. Bruno Fernandes second for assists. Uh, De Gea with the most clean sheets as well. But yeah, what a what a season. Um, to <laughs> to win the league first year by 2.7 ahead of Man City. Who I did notice had sacked Guardiola as well with Leicester in fourth place. Europa League, I imagine we did win our group. Um, we did, but we did draw two as well against PSV and Freiburg. Uh, but then into the second knockout round where we beat Club Brugge. 7-3 on aggregate. So it must be 4-1 in the first leg, then 3-2 in the second leg. Before that, penalty defeat against Leipzig as well. Who who missed for us? Martial missing the second penalty. Uh, interestingly, Bruno Fernandes did not take a penalty on there. So, yeah. Um, all three scored for Leipzig. Juventus dropping down as well. Arsenal going out to Sociedad. The Juventus beating Leipzig. Sociedad beating Rangers. And Juventus winning in extra time. We did lose in the third round of the Carabao Cup to West Ham, which is a bit disappointing. Um, Arsenal winning that in the end. But the FA Cup, who did we beat in the final? Beat Man City 3-2 in the final. Uh, Bruno Fernandes getting sent off in this game after scoring. And a late disallowed goal as well for Mara. So let's just go and take a look at the goals um, and see how this final played out. So our hands on two pieces of silverware as well this season is... Uh, a lot better than I expected. A lot better than I expected. So Ericsson's free kick towards back post. Sancho brought it down, pulled it back across, and Maguire rising highest to head home for 1 0. Then Bruno level from the penalty spot. I mean, the keeper probably should have saved that, really, but we don't care too much. And then Walker on that right hand side towards the edge of the area to Mares takes a touch. De Bruyne lovely finish that one as well. 2 1. And then this is where they leveled it up. Otavio to Walker once again. Back to Otavio. Phillips. What a goal. What a goal. De Gea should not be getting beaten from there. But what a strike that is. And then the winning goal in the 92nd minute of the game. It's a long ball forward from De Gea. Rashford spins his man. Takes a touch. Gives himself the gap. Is that Edison in goal? I did not look. Whether it was. It is Edison and Gone. He put a 6.4 as well. Foden is 6.0. Haaland is 6.4. So, uh, not a great final for City. But, yeah, a double for Manchester United in our first season. And with that, they've given us £62 million to spend next year. Um, let's just take a look at some of our players, how they all perform. 54 games for Bruno Fernandes. 50 for Ronaldo. 53 for Sancho. 49 De Gea. 46 for Ran. You know, plenty of games being played. Four plays in double figures. We're now getting 27. Rashford on 19. Bruno Fernandes on 16. And Sancho on 15. And assists. Fernandes on 21. Sancho 10. And wan on 10. So Hannibal in that advanced playmaker role really did not put in a great performance. Um, I don't know if that's because he was unhappy. He's still asking to leave. He wants a new contract now. But he just hasn't really performed in that position. Bruno Fernandes with 21 assists. He may end up moving into that position for next season. Um, De Gea keeping 25 clean sheets from 49 games is pretty impressive as well. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and spend this money and see if we can retain this title and see what we can do in the, championship, in the Champions League even. And we're going to come back for the start of Season 2 in just one moment. So, Season 2 transfer window is done, and um, we've made a few signings. But first, we go back to the end of last season. We made some deals before the season ticked over. Charlie Wellens went to Wolves for 79 grand, rising up to 88. Alex Tellers went to Tottenham for £31.5 million. Pounds, and Toby Collier went to Wolves for £8 million. Pounds. I think we've done an absolute steal on this guy. He's got decent potential, but I don't think he's... Gonna, he, he wasn't going to be good enough for us, basically. So £8 million pounds I'm very, very happy with. You can see Victor Lindelof went on a part exchange to Brighton for Tariq Lamptey. £10 million pounds and Lindelof for Tariq Lamptey. Um, Lindelof didn't 
really figuring my plans. He played 11 times for his last season, uh, all of them in the league. And I wanted to jump from right back position, so Lamptey came in. I think this is a good deal. Uh, Evan and Dick also joined us for £35 million pounds from Frankfurt. He's a central defender, um, 23 years old, six foot four. I think he's going to be a solid defender for us um, and want to develop into a decent partnership, hopefully, with Varane. And Tio Hernandez has joined us for £70 million pounds from AC Milan, one of the best left-backs in the world. Um, this is one of the reasons why I was so happy to let Shaw go. And when you consider the £31.5 million, pounds, you know, £40 million for Tio Hernandez, pretty good deal. Then if we go on to uh, what did then tick over to this season, Axel Tomzebi went to Leipzig for £24 million. Pounds. Again, I think we've got a pretty good deal here. Good Defender, but I think we've got better at a club here. He was going to fall behind and dick it in the uh, pecking order. So, £24 million pounds for him. £39 million pounds for Diego Dalot. He's gone to Bayern Munich. Again, very, very good fullback. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with letting him go, but Bayern came in. He wanted to leave, and I wasn't going to stand in his way. And Aaron wan has gone to Juventus for £25 million. Pounds. We have issues here. Um, he wanted a new contract. I would offer him a new contract. And he came up in red saying that he didn't want one because he was unhappy. So we sold him on um, to Juventus. And then our final incoming was Alban Lafont from Nantes. £10 million, pounds, a goalkeeper. He comes in his back up to De Gea. Tom Heaton's retired. Um, he's coming in his back up to, Tom, uh, to De Gea with the view to be the number one in the future. In terms of... Formation will stay with the exact same as last season. Hannibal is going to play every game possible. Um, same as last season. Nothing's going to change there at all. And fixture-wise, we played five games. We played the Community Shield where we lost 4-2 to Liverpool. Um, McTominay put his head. Diaz equalised. Henderson, Thiago and Nunes made it 4-1. McTominay put one back late on. 4-2 defeat. We don't care too much about this competition. But always tough to lose to Liverpool. Then a tough start to the league. We drew 0-0 with Tottenham, but then we got our revenge on Liverpool with a 4-1 victory. Ronaldo, Hannibal and two from Marcus Rashford giving us the victory. Jota scoring for Liverpool. One that over Norwich, Rashford's getting the only goal. And the disappointing 0-0 really with Southampton. Season's unbeaten in all four games so far, but down in eighth place. Um, but we saw last season how well we turned it round. Now, in terms of the Champions League, we'll be drawing Bussy Dortmund, Marseille and Dinamo. So, I expect us to top this group and um, hopefully make a pretty good run of the Champions League. I'd like to be battling for a league title again this season and winning either the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup again. Um, I definitely think we've got the squad to do that once more. So, like last season, we're going to go simulate to the end of the year and see how we've got on. So, our second season is done and just look at the sea of Liverpool. I mean, of course... Runners up in the Community Shield, beaten by Liverpool. Third place, uh, third round of the Carabao Cup, beaten by Liverpool. Quarterfinals of the FA Cup, beaten by Liverpool. Quarterfinals of the Champions League, beaten by Liverpool. Runners up in the league, beaten by Liverpool. Four points behind them in the league this season. Six defeats. Um, Wolves doing the double over us is a bit of a worry. But we did, I think we beat Liverpool. We did beat Liverpool in both games and still finish behind them. Just a couple too many defeats. Turn them into wins. In fact, them to wins, in, uh, them to draws into the wins. Um, and, you know, we're beating on goal difference. It's disappointing. Fernandez top for assists. Sancho second. Bruno up there as well for average rating. De Gea up there for clean sheets. Um... Champions League, the final is yet to be played. It's PSG and Liverpool in the final. Uh, we did top our group. And then we beat Colne 4-1 on aggregate before losing 2-0 on aggregate. Both of them 1-0 to Liverpool. Uh, FA Cup third round. Beat Barnsley 3-0. Extra time needed to beat Birmingham 4-2 in the fourth round. Fifth round will beat Southampton 3-0 before quarterfinal defeat 3-1 to Liverpool. So, multiple times runners up. Um, but we do have a lot of money, £115 million pounds to spend in this summer transfer window. In terms of appearances, uh, you see again, multiple players over 50. Goal-wise, Ronaldo on 26, Rashford on 21, Sancho 17. 
and Bruno Fernandes on 10, Varane with 9 as well, um, and Dicker with 5, and Didi with 5, Maguire chipped in with 3 as well, plenty of goals from defenders. Assist-wise, uh, 23 from Fernandes once again, and 18 from Sancho, but that seemed, well, I was going to say, since we dropped off more, we've got more players than last season with the assists. But just like, you know, less in double figures overall. Lafont getting eight games as well, keeping three, uh, three clean sheets. Average ratings are decent. Um, so, yeah, I think we're in a decent enough place to, you know, build on. We've got a good foundation for this squad, of course. We are going to have to think about Ronaldo's future. He's 38 now. I mean, he's still an absolute freak at 38. But it's not going to be long before he is considering hanging up the boots, I imagine. So, um, yeah, a little bit disappointing to be knocked out of everything by Liverpool. But it's, it's a good a good place. Obviously, last season's league title was a freak result, really. It really was a freak result. Uh, this season, obviously, we've had the World Cup breaking things up as well. Uh, so we played Liverpool a lot there. We we'll beat them 3 1 towards the end of the season. And I'm guessing we were just hoping that Liverpool slipped up in their final couple of games. Yeah, uh, they lost this FA Cup final to Man City, but they beat Aston Villa and Burnley. We really needed them to drop points in both of them games, really. We left it too little, too late um, there. And interestingly, Pep Guardiola is managing there. So let me guess. A Klopp is not at City. City are still waiting for a manager. Klopp's been sacked by City. That's why. Klopp did go to City. Um, so, yeah, a couple of younger players did, did get some game, uh, game time in Alanga. Obviously, Handball played a lot. Diallo in there as well. So, I'm only going to see who is available, what we can do with this wonderful transfer kitty. I'm going to come back for the start of Season 3. So, a relatively busy summer this time around. Uh, five incomings and plenty of outgoings. First of all, let's talk about the outgoings. Uh, Eric Bailly's gone to Benfica for £20 million. Terrell Malice has gone to Villarreal for just under £16 million. And Marshall to Shakhtar for just under £13 million. Um, Alvaro Fernandez has gone into a youth player. Danny van der Beek's on to spot at Moscow for £13.75 million. Luke Shaw to Inter for £24 million. Um, again, a few more youth players going. Fred leaves for £20 million to Benfica. Brandon Williams to Hull for £5.5 uh, million. And Dean Henderson to Crystal Palace for £13.25 million. So a total of £126 million incoming. And uh, in terms of money outgoing and players that come in, Weston McKinney has joined us from Juventus for £23 million. He's a very, very good, very versatile player. And uh, he's 25 years old. He's going to be a great one for the future. And um, really, really cheap as well. Omar Sole has joined us from Brighton as well for £25 million. Pounds. Play centre-back or, you know, through the middle of midfield as well. Another one that's pretty solid and brings depth into midfield. When you look at the depth chart, he's... Maguire is leaving, um, we've had offers for him, we've accepted him, he could just keep turning our contract, but he's not in my plans at all. And Varane is getting on a bit now, he's 30 years old, but he's also struggling a bit um, with a slip disc recently, and that's potentially a recurring injury, so we've put plans in. Um, above him in the pecking order, there was Anel Ahmed Hodic, I believe he's how you pronounce his name, from Sheffield United. 37 million, rising to 44.5 million, again, very, very good young centre-back, just 24 years old, he's going to be solid for us as well. Ugan Kekia joins us from Chad Bonspor, uh, the goalkeeper. Turkish goalkeeper, again, very, very good. You see, comes in as our best goalkeeper. Um, 18 million, rising to 21 million. I wasn't particularly in the market for 20, uh, for a, a new goalkeeper, but when we saw this guy at this price, I had to move for it. And then finally, a new striker, Domenico Berardi, joins us from Sassolo. Um, he can play on the wing, but he's going to be mainly a striker. Obviously, Ronaldo is getting on now. He's got plenty of goals last season, um, and we'll still be featuring this year, but he's 38 years old, and his contract expires at the end of this year, and he's not interested in a new one. So, we've, um, we've brought players in to, you know... Plan for the the future, and he'll get plenty of game time as well this season. Fifty three million pounds for him. 
So we've only played two games so far this season. We beat Watford 2-0 uh, and Dickett and Fernandez scoring. And we also beat Sheffield United 2-0 with Rashford and Berardi scoring. So two back-to-back 2-0 -back wins is quite nice. Caesars, obviously, uh, fourth in the league. One of five teams with a 100% record. Uh, Champions League at group stages. So tougher one this time around. PSG, Brugge and Aris in there. Um, we should be qualifying from this group. And... Hopefully top as well. PSG will be tough opposition though. Holders as well. So they did beat Liverpool in the final last time around. So that will be tough for us. And Man City in the EFL Cup third round as well. So yeah. Um, we're at an interesting point of this season now. We've got in plenty of good young players. Let's go see what we can do in this third season. So at the end of season number three, sees us in fourth place in the Premier League, seven points off the top of the table. Um, we're knocked out in the Champions League, but it doesn't actually show where, so we'll take a look at that in a second. Quarterfinals of the FA Cup by Man City and fourth round of the Carabao Cup by Nottingham Forest. That is completely unacceptable in the Carabao Cup. FA Cup, you can sort of understand, Champions League was the semi final Final, yeah, we lost three in the Ligands Bayern in the first leg, one, two, nil in the second leg, but not enough to uh, to get through. So it's Bayern versus Barcelona in the final. Let's just take a look at our group. Uh, we did top it as well by point over PSG. First knockout round, we got drawn against Borussia Dortmund. We beat them 3-0 after a 0-0 in the first leg. Uh, beat Liverpool in the quarterfinals, 5-1 and I could get 2-1 in the first leg. 3-0 in the second leg, and obviously that semi-final defeat. Um, Premier League, too many draws. It's that simple, 12 draws was the second, joint second highest in the league. Only five defeats was actually the best in the league, but yeah, just too many draws is a bit of a worry. Um, including the AC one on the final day to Brentford as well. Let's just take a look at that schedule. Um, one win in our final four league games. Had we won them, then um, we would have been champions, I imagine, despite not being top all season long. Liverpool also losing to Brentford in the last four, but winning the rest of the three. But yeah, I think if we'd have won all of them, we'd have probably won that league. It's a little bit annoying, really. Um, Paris is wise, Hannibal playing the most along with Ronaldo. A couple of plays above 50 once again. Uh, game wise, th sorry, goals wise, 30 for Ronaldo, 16 for Rashford, 13 for Fernandez, 13 for Sancho, so four in double figures. Ronaldo still refusing to sign a new contract as well. Assist wise, Bruno Fernandez with 25, Lamptey with 10, and Ronaldo with 10. Um, we've been given 67.5 million to spend this season. So, um, I'm going to go and spend that and see if we can get back to winning a league title. Okay, so our fourth transfer window is done. Uh, first of all, I want to apologise if you can hear the fans in the middle of this episode. We're currently in the middle of the UK heatwave as I'm recording this and it's bloody hot. Um, what is also hot was the amount of money we brought in, £105 million, uh, from selling the likes of De Gea to Valencia for £14.75 million, uh, Alanga for to Pachuca. For a million pounds more than that, Lisandro Martinez to Traps on Sport to uh, for nineteen point seven five million pounds. Scott McTominay to Everton for thirty one and a half million. Maguire to Rome for twenty one million. Um, Mengi also left for two point two million pounds. A couple of other players leaving on free transfers as well. Ronaldo ended up retiring from football. He's now a coach. Can't bring him in because he won't get a work permit. So yeah, um, but we've brought players in. And um, we've gone for a, a big one. We've gone for a big one. To replace Ronaldo, we bought in Harry Kane. £90 million, rising to £111 million. 31 years old now, but again, absolutely world class. Um, he's going to be an incredible striker for us and hopefully can fill that 30 goal season void that we are losing. Um, another striker also joined us, Jeremy Doku from Rennes for 55 million, rising to 71 million. This guy is going to be a part of the future. He can play on either wing or up top as well. 22 years old. We initially agreed to loan him back to Rennes, um, but then Berardi picked up a pretty nasty injury, so we recalled him after just four games. Um, so he is back at United now, yeah. But he's going to be a backup this season, but definitely one for the future up top. 
And finally, this guy did go back on loan to UTA Arad for £3.3 .3 million. It's David Michulescu, the Romanian. Um, again, could play on either wing or top. Just a bit of depth, really. Um, this one wasn't particularly i seen for the future. Um, playing for us, I just saw it was relatively cheap, relatively young. And um, if he develops, brilliant. He's going to play for us in future. If not, we should be able to sell off a decent profit. But yeah, he's gone back out on loan. Um, so, as things stand, you can see our Champions League group there. Barcelona, Roma and Celtic. Again, we should be winning that group, ideally. Uh, Barcelona are currently defending champions. Um, but we should be challenging in that competition. We should be challenging in both cup competitions by now as well. And we're currently joint top of the league um, on, I think it's goal scored, separating us from Arsenal. Uh, it is. They've scored eight, conceded four. We've scored five, conceded one in our three games. Where we beat Bournemouth 1 0 from Harry Kane. Uh, we beat Leicester 3 1. Kane, Varane, and Rashford scoring for us. Uh, Condogbia scoring for them. I need some water. Um, and Weston McKinney scoring the only goal of the game in the victory over Brentford. So, like always, we're going to go skin this fourth season. Let's see if we've had some more silverware that we haven't won since that first season. So the end of season number four, and we finished eight points off the top of the league this time in third place. We were also knocked out by Liverpool in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Everton in the third round of the FA Cup, but we did come runners-up in the Carabao Cup. But first of all, let's go and take a look at that Premier League season. Five defeats, same as the teams above us, but eight draws, really, the ones that hampered us, including draws against Brighton, Bristol City, Aston Villa, Brentford, especially that Bristol City won, games that we should have won, um, heavy defeat to Southampton as well, you know, games we really should be picking up points for actually lost on the last day as well against Tottenham, um, so had we won that, we'd have still been in second place, but only five points off at the top, um, Bruno Fernandes up there for assists this season. Champions League. Bayern Munich are champions. We did top our group at a Barcelona. Roma going to the Europa League and Celtic going out. First knockout round, we got Nice. We beat them 6-1, 3-0 in the first leg, 3-1 in the second leg. Before losing 5-2 to Liverpool, we were 2-0 up after the first leg. Lost 5-0 in that second leg. Was that away from home as well? Uh, yeah, so we lost 5-0 at Anfield. Diaz, Musa, Jota, Firmino and Henderson dumping us out before they went on to lose to Bayern on penalties. In the, uh, the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup, we came run up to Man City 2-0 in this one. Um, the Bruyne getting in both of them, both relatively late on as well. 75th minute and an 81st minute penalty enough to uh, give them the trophy, but we are into the final, you know, it's, it's not been bad. I'm just disappointed now we've gone three years without winning any silverware. This was our best chance. Um, so just take a look at the goals. De Bruyne out for Gomez, draws it across back to KDB. Volley's home for 1 0, and obviously the second one was a penalty, which he sends the keeper the wrong way. So, um,. Yeah, a little bit disappointing to, again, not win anything this season. Again, a lot of players playing plenty of games. Rashford, top scorer with 23. Kane and 22. Bruno and Sancho, 10 each. It's a big drop-off between them. Um, five players in double figures. Bruno Fernandes, top again. And one thing I didn't show you at the start of the season was the change in the tactical system. We've gone to a diamond um, with two up top, which yeah, I think is why... Uh, Rashford and Kane scored most of the goals because they were our main threats. But, yeah, oh, that's a lot of transfer budget. Holy crap. Have we been taken over? We've had a tycoon takeover in March, which gives us £344 million to spend. Wow. Has that changed the club vision much? Because initially, they wanted us to be winning the league this season, uh, come in. Now, the only one is to qualify for the Champions League. They, they don't expect too much at all. That's a lot of money I've got my hands on. I'm going to go spend it before we get into our final season. And our final transfer window has been done at this club. You can see there's no hint on this page. 
we'll come to that. A few players gone out, most of them youth players or what we're younger players that just haven't really kicked on enough Pellistri led um Mania and Gore leave on permanent. But if we go back to last season before the season ticked over where I spent all of this money. Some big, big money. Uh, Maxon LeCrew has joined us from Tottenham. 60 million rising to 72 million pounds. He is a centre-back. He can play defensive mid if he want, uh, if we want him to. But he is mainly a centre-back and he comes in as the best in the club. Uh, he's been solid for Tottenham and uh, hopefully he's going to be fantastic for us as well. Ilyx Mariba also joined us for 82 million pounds. He's uh, rather versatile but mainly a central midfielder and um, just look at these attributes uh, it's just an incredible player and only 22 years old as well and um, he's going to be a fantastic signing for her as well and uh, Lataro Martinez joins us from Inter 60 million potentially rising to 70 million now I tried to do a deal on this guy I think two seasons ago and they wanted 150 million pounds and we, we could not get it through um, value installments etc but for a two year wait, we've managed to get him for about half the price what they're asking. And I mean, he's absolutely incredible still. And 28, so he's just coming into his prime now. He's going to be a very, very good player for us as well. Uh, João Felix has joined from Atletico Madrid. 80 million, potentially rising to 100 million. Again, I think this is a pretty good deal, um, considering how much we could have brought him for a couple of seasons ago. He's only 25 years old, and again, just look at his attributes. He's absolutely insane. Can play on either wing or through the centre, either more advanced or a little bit further back. What a player he is. Two footer as well. Um, I think that's a, he's a very, very good deal as well. And finally, um, a player that Manchester United were chasing in real life. I don't know if he's still are. He's sort of gone off the boil a little bit. But Urian Timber from Ajax. 70 million, potentially rising to 84 million. Again, can play either fullback, centre mid, holding mid. Rather, rather versatile. Um, very, very good, good player. And uh, I think he's going to be worth every penny as well. Now we have tweaked the system a little bit. Um, we'll go for 4-3-3, a very attacking 4-3-3. Uh, with that advanced playmaker in there, Mazala, and a box-to-box -box midfielder. If I just go to the assistant's best 11, uh, that's what he thinks would be our best 11. And I think it's pretty damn good to be perfectly honest with you interestingly as well if we do have any issues in the central midfield harry kane is now trained as a central midfielder and if i just switch him with mckinney he's still four and a half stars in midfield so he can drop further back if needs be obviously fernandez can drop further back we've got hannibal that can go in there you've got people like yao felix who can come in up top rashford who can come up up top sancho is now a striker as well he's playing in that false nine role uh, we've got doku on the bench as well diallo some wonderful attacking options. I'm just hoping the defence is going to be strong enough to cope with this very attacking style. Um, I mean, only time will tell. This is obviously our final season. Competitions-wise, we're currently top of the league. We beat Liverpool 1-0, Southampton 4-1 and Brighton 6-0. We've been drawn with Juventus, Monaco and Olympiacos. So a relatively tough Champions League group. Rotherham in the third round of the Carabao Cup. So yeah, 6-0 over Brighton on the opening day of the season. Two from Martinez, two from Kane, one from Mariva, uh, one from Lacro. Kicked us off to a wonderful start of the season. McAllister sent off for Brighton um, in the 7th minute. Then we scored our 10th goal of the season in two games, uh, beating Southampton 4-1. Two from Reba, one from Martinez, one from Felix. And uh, we beat Liverpool 1-0 with uh, Latero Martinez. We also had the Club World Cup in the summer. Uh, we beat Juventus on penalties in the quarterfinals. Uh, a lot of penalties taken there. Uh, groups, we were Algafara and River Plate. Uh, lost to PSG in the semi-final and they beat Barcelona on penalties to finish third place. Whoa, we didn't care about that anyway. Um, but yeah, I think we're on for a very, very good season this season. I want a treble. I want a treble. And I'm going to be very, very unhappy if we don't get it. Are we going to get it? We're back in one second to find out. So our final season has ended with another runners-up in the league. Three points behind Manchester City. We're on 90 this season. Um, gutting. Absolutely gutting. Quarter-final appearance of the Champions League. Semi-final of the FA Cup. And runner-up of the Carabao Cup. You see, we lost six games in the league. 
Sheffield United, Brentford, games that we really should have been winning. Um, no real excuses not to be winning them. Champions League. Um, we topped our group of Juventus, Monaco and Olympiacos, which you can't see because it's behind my head. I've just realised this. Um, but yeah, we did top that group there. And then if we go to the tree... Uh, we beat Real Sociedad 4-1 and lost 6-2 on aggregate to PSG. Eventual winners PSG. They knocked out Bayern and beat Juventus in the final as well. Uh, FA Cup, that semi-final uh, semi run to eventual runners. Well, uh, sorry, eventual winners, Man City. Quarter-final stage, we beat Bristol Rovers 5-0. Uh, Nottingham Forest 4-0 in the fourth round. Fifth round, 2-1 over Leicester. Good final 3 0 over Tottenham for the semi final. 3 2 defeat to Tottenham. In the Carabao Cup, who did we come runners up to? Was it City as well? It was Aston Villa 1 0. <sighs> That's a game we should have won. Vidovic scoring the only goal of the game in the 37th minute. This is a game. I think we should have won this. 37th minute. We dominated the game as well. Looking at statistics, we just could not find. The breakthrough and Aston Villa got us Matty Cash on this right hand side. Lamptey playing left back, drilled in, and um, yeah, Vidovic in front of the goalkeeper to tap in. Easiest goal to probably get in his career, really. So, yeah, just the two trophies. And uh, he actually lost on the final day of the season. To Chelsea for free. And if we'd have won that game, we'd have won the league. Man City also won, but our goal difference is far superior. If we'd have beat Chelsea on the final day of the league, we'd have won it. And we were 3 2 up as well. Absolutely gutting. So, you know, Premier League and Carabao Cup in the first season, plenty of money to spend, but we are over the wage budget. Um, but that was all we could do, really. Um, decent league performances is all I could really say. If we just take a look at the Premier League here. First, second, fourth, third and second. <laughs> Great first season in terms of points, then dropped off a bit before gradual improvement once again. I think we definitely improved this team. I do think we have. I just think we've been really unlucky in some competitions. Um, but we've only won the two. Can Ten Hag do better? I'm going to go simulate five seasons with Ten Hag in charge now. And we're going to come back to see who wins, myself or Ten Hag. So we've simulated five seasons with Ten Hag in charge. Or halfway, I suppose we should check, is it still Ten Hag at Manchester United? It is not. Jose Mourinho is there. Uh, he got sacked on the 19th of October 2022. So, in this just over a year. So, all we can look at, really, is did he win anything in the first season? You can see he did, actually. He won the Carabao Cup. It does show us down there. Um, he got into FC20 and then the Netherlands afterwards. So, yeah, he would have done the entire of the first season uh, where he won the EFL Cup final, beating West Ham in extra time. Lost that in the FA Cup semi-final, the Europa League, the second knockout round, before being sacked after this 3-1 defeat to Man City. You see, they've signed Alessandro Martinez as well there. But, yeah, all he did win then was that Carabao Cup. First season, finishing in third place. Perhaps a bit harsh to be sacked, really, for that. Perhaps a bit harsh, but that does mean we've done it better. Let's take a look at this trophy cabinet. And uh, you can see we have won. We beat Ten Hag. We are better than Ten Hag. That's club number one down. Come back next week to see who our second team is going to be. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have. Um, give me a few ideas on how you want to see this format, uh, this video formatted as well going forward. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.